Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering unit conversion. I'm only going to do about five or six problems. Um, the Minions movie just came out. I promised the kids I'd take them to go see it. So I'm just going to go over a couple problems, but I just want to make sure you understand the concept of unit conversions. So uh, before we get started, if you haven't watched my other videos, the video I did yesterday, the dosage cow, watch that one first. So this is a reminder, guys. Um, I have my kilogram, gram, milligram, microgram over here just to remind you when you're going from kilogram to gram or gram to milligram or milligram to microgram, you're moving your decimal space three spaces to the right each time. And then when you're going higher, you're moving to the left each time. These are important conversions you need to know. One ounce is 30 milliliters. Uh, a tablespoon is 15 milliliters, a teaspoon is five mLs, one cup is 240 milliliters, which is also the same thing as eight ounces. One pint is 500 mLs, which is 16 ounces. One quart is 1,000 mLs, which is 32 ounces. One gallon is equal to four quarts. So these are some important units of measurements to keep in mind. So let's start with question number one. It says medication order vitamin B12, one milligram by mouth daily. And what the label writes or says is vitamin B12, 500 micrograms per tablet. And as I've said on all my other dosage and calculation videos, you always want to make your life easier. So you always want to start with the two that's always given to you. You're always going to have uh, three pieces of information given to you. Two of them are going to be connected, right? Your third one, you're going to add and X is what you're solving for. That's your fourth one. So let's take a look. For question number one, the two that are given to us is the 500 micrograms per tablet. So for question one, I'm going to go ahead, keep it together. 500 micrograms per one tablet. Whenever you do not see a number in front of the unit of measurement, it means one. So where it says 500 micrograms per tablet, it means 500 micrograms per one tablet. And that's exactly what I wrote here, 500 micrograms per one tablet. I'm going to put my equal, <coughs> excuse me. I know whatever I have up here has to be micrograms, just like I have over here. And whatever I have down here, has to be tablet. Just like I have on this side, your units always have to match on both sides. So now that I have my 500 micrograms per one tablet, the only thing I left I have is up here, my one milligrams. Well, I can't put one milligram here because I know my unit has to be micrograms. So before I can plug in my number, I have to turn this one milligram into microgram. And this is why I always teach you Always write down your unit of measurement. That's going to be a check for you so you don't make a mistake and forget to convert somewhere that you should have converted because this one milligram has to turn into microgram. So I'm going from milligram over here to microgram. That means I'm going to move my decimal space, three spaces where? To the right. So let's take a look. Let me just, where should I write that? Mm, I'll write this right here. One milligram, this is one, but I'm going three spaces to the right. One, two, three. I'm going to put my decimal here. So on my one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. Okay. So now I'm going to put my 1000 right here, and this is going to be X. Remember, I had one and I just went one, two, three, a thousand micrograms, milligrams. So now that I have this, guys, I can cross multiply. 500 times X equals 500 X and a thousand times one equals a thousand. 500 X equals a thousand. We got to get X by itself. So what am I going to do? Divide by both sides. 500, 500. 500 goes into a thousand, what? Two times. Is to our answer, are we done? No, remember, you always have to have your unit of measurement. If you don't remember what your unit of measurement is supposed to be, go back to X. X will tell you what you're solving for. When I go back to X, it says X what? Tablets. So I'm giving two tablets. That is the correct answer. Okay, let's do question number two.
The orders for erythromycin, 100 milligrams IV, and what we have, the labels, erythromycin, one gram per 30 ml. Remember, the two pieces of information that we have together, we're going to keep together. So let's write that down. One gram per 30 ml. Gram, gram. So whatever I have on this side is going to be gram. And whatever I have on this side is going to be ml, milliliters. And I know this because, again, guys, our uh, units always have to match. Gram, gram, ml, ml. OK? Go back to our question. The only thing we have left is the 100 milligrams. But don't be so quick to put your 100 here because it says 100 milligrams, but I have grams. That means I have to convert that 100 milligrams. It's 100 milligrams. I have to convert that to this, grams. Let's go back to this. If I'm going from milligram to gram, I'm moving my decimal to the left three spaces. So let me just go ahead and write this 100 milligrams. So my decimal will be here. And now I'm going to move to the left three spaces. One, two, three. That means I have now have 0 0.1 grams. You guys see that? My 100 milligrams now turned into 0 0.1 grams. So I'm going to put my 0 0.1 right here, and then I'm going to be put my X over here. Now we can cross multiply. So one times X, ooh, it's about the storm. One times X is one X, 30 times 0 0.1, let me take out my trusty calculator, 30 times 0 0.1, three. You guys should have gotten three. 1x equals 3. All right? 1x equals 3. I got to get x by itself. So I'm going to divide by both sides. Divide by 1, divide by 1. 1 goes into 3 how many times? 3 times. Are we done? No. Because I guarantee you, you can have the right number, but if you do not have your unit of measurement, your instructor is going to mark it wrong. So Let's find, let's, you know, let's say we forgot what the unit of measurement was supposed to be. Go back to X. X is what we're solving for. When the X is in what? MLs. So we're giving three MLs. That is our correct answer. Let's do number four. Let me go ahead and write this on the side so I don't forget. Kilogram, gram, milligram microgram. This just kind of helps me remember where I'm moving my decimal to the left or to the right if I have to convert. All right, so number four, uh, quinidine sulfate 400 milligrams by mouth daily. What the label reads is 0 0.2 grams per tablet. Whenever it says label, that means what we have on hand. We can't change what we have on hand. What we have is what we have, right? So 0 0.2 grams per tablet. So I'm going to write that down. Zero point two grams, small g, or you could write out the whole thing, grams, per one tablet. It's given to us together. We're not going to separate it. Just like it says here, 0 0.2 grams per tablet, we're going to write 0 0.2 grams per one tablet. Equals. On this side, on the top, we know our unit's going to be a gram because it's gram over here. And on the bottom, we know our unit is going to be tablet because it's tablet on this side. Remember, it always has to match. And you always want to put your units first, just in case you have to convert. This will be a reminder to you. Uh oh, wait, I can't put that. I got to convert first. So now let's go back to question number four. What we have left is 400 milligrams. Can we put that 400 here? No, because this says 400 milligrams, but we have to convert that into what? grams. So we're going from milligrams to gram. Let's take a look. Milligram to gram. That means we're moving to the left. How many times are we moving the decimal space to the left? Three times. So I'm going to put my, let me write it here, 400 milligrams, 400. That means our decimals over here, and we have to move it to the left three times. One, 
two, three. So our 400 milligrams has now turned into 0 0.4 grams. Now I can put my 0 0.4 here, 0 0.4 grams, and we're solving for X. So our answer is going to be tablets. Now that this has been set up, we can cross multiply. 0 0.2 times X equals 0 0.2 X. 0 0.4 times 1 equals 0 0.4. Now we have 0 0.2 X is equal to 0 0.4. Well, we got to get X by itself. We're going to divide by both sides. Divide by 0 0.2, divide by 0 0.2. So now we're going to do 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.2. And your answer is what? 2. Oh, sorry. Can't see that. 2, right? Are we done? No. What's our unit of measurement going to be? Go back to X and it says tablet. So we're giving two tablets. Two tablets. Okay, guys, I keep looking at my phone. They're waiting for me. One last question, guys, and then you're on your own, but I promise I got lots more coming. I figure five questions would be better than nothing at all, right? All right, let's do number five. Mm, let me do it this way. Okay, number five, it says, Lopin 0 0.6 grams by mouth daily. And what we have is 600 milligrams per tablet. 600 milligrams per tablet is together, we're gonna to keep it together. So I'm gonna put 600 milligrams per one tablet. Again, whenever there's not a number in front of the unit, that means one. So we have 600 milligrams per one tablet equals, whatever's on top is going to be milligrams and whatever's on bottom is going to be tablet. And we know this because over here is milligram, milligram, over here is tablet, tablet. Go back to number five. So we have our 600 milligrams per tablet. The only thing we let thing we have left is our 0 0.6 grams. Can we put the 0 0.6 here? No, because it says grams, but this says what? Milligrams. That means we have to go from grams to milligrams. So let's take a look. If we're going from grams to milligrams, we're going to move our decimal space to the right. How many times? Three times. So let's take a look. I have 0 0.6 and I'm going to move to the right. One, two, three. So that 0 0.6 grams has now turned into 600 milligrams. Now I can put my 600 here and this is going to be X. Now that my problem set up, I can cross multiply. 600 times X gives me 600 X. 600 times one gives me what? 600. So now I have 600 X equals 600. Again, we have to get X by itself. So we're gonna divide by both sides, divide by 600, divide by 600. 600 goes into 600 one time. Are we done? Nope, we got to tack on our unit of measurement. Go back to X if you forgot what your unit of measurement is. X what? tablet so we're giving one tablet easy peasy lemon squeezy easy peasy lemon squeezy all right guys so that's how you do that math um i got some iv dosages coming your way i got some drip factors coming your way so be um expecting that i that's probably going to be on the next video but please let me know what you thought about this video i know it was short but let me know if there's any kind of math besides the drip factors that you'd like to see me cover that i haven't done so let me know in the comment section please don't forget to support my channel by sharing my content you can share it on whatsapp with friends or classmates on your social media profile um, don't forget i have audio lessons available for you on my website nexusnursinginstitute.com 
And almost every single day I co cover nursing questions on my other social media platforms, such as TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys will catch me on the next video.